Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable the built-in administrator account on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this is going to be different than just a standard administrator versus standard user account. So if you have a specific purpose to use it, I'm going to show you guys how to activate it. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So you're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt, go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have two commands in the description of the video. First one is to turn on the hidden administrator account. And that would be just copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste, hit enter. Should say the command completed successfully. If you close out of here, and if you were to sign out of your current user account, you see now there's an administrator account that you could sign into, and you'd have to set up the profile and everything like it for that. We're not going to do that, but assuming you had to get in there and make any changes, you can go into here at that time. And let's say once you finish up what you were trying to do and you want to remove this administrator account, Let's go back into our standard account, which is an administrative account too, but not the administrator account, not the built-in one at least. And we're going to go ahead and actually turn that off. So open up the search menu, type in CMD. Again, this is assuming that once you're already you're finished and we're coming back to this video just to turn it off. So type in CMD, right click on the command prompt and then run as administrator. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt and then copy that command in the description of the video and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and then paste it in, hit enter on your keyboard. So let's say the command completed it successfully. So if you close out of here and you signed out of Windows again, that account should no longer be visible. So pretty straightforward process guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.